starting our video off in the kitchen. I know I probably blew your mind without starting the video with what's going on everyone. Welcome to the video. So you know what today is by the title. We're doing a full day of low carb eating and we're starting off today, of course, with the first meal, which is breakfast. And what I like to have for breakfast, a cup and a half of egg whites with one whole egg. And then I mix that while it's cooking with cinnamon and then with salt. And then I also add spinach on top of that. Mix that in, let it cook, and then afterwards I like to top it. Half a serving of peanut butter and then half a serving of almond butter and then put more salt on that and stevia and that is gonna be breakfast. So very high fat, high protein, and low carb. That is the breakfast I've been having for weeks on right now. So I am two weeks out from my contest. Looking forward to this thing. A lot of the times it's very hard getting ready for a contest and photo shoot, but at the same time, uh, you know, it's exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and whip this all up so I can eat some breakfast. This is after doing an hour of cardio this morning. Right now it's 9.15 in the morning and it's a Monday, so it's a start of a new week. So this is what it turns out like. I have tons of stevia on there. I coat this thing in stevia and peanut butter. It is delicious. If you've never tried peanut butter and almond butter on top of egg whites and eggs, I'm telling you, you're missing out because it tastes amazing. And then I also have a black coffee. So my diet that you're seeing today is extreme. I am two weeks out from a contest. So if you're looking at my diet thinking you should try this diet, you probably should not because this is extreme levels. I'm going low to no carbs besides vegetable carbs. So I'm probably gonna be getting around 50 or 60 carbs below today. So this is not something I recommend people doing unless you're getting ready for a contest or photo shoot when you're trying to get super lean because this is what I have to do to go very low body fat percentage. But you can take this video and get examples of low carb uh, meals and that's why I wanted to film this because a lot of the times people will watch these things and try out my exact diet and they don't need to go to these extreme levels where they're at. So you can take what I'm doing and use it but at the same time, don't go off exactly what I do because this is what I need to do, not necessarily something you need to do. So I forgot to explain to y'all why I'm going so low in carbs. So right now I'm carb cycling. Today is the fourth day of going very low to no carbs and then tomorrow, I'm gonna have carbs, somewhere around maybe 150 to 200. I'm gonna record the whole thing tomorrow. Uh, so that's the reason why I'm going so low carbs right now because this is not something you can sustain for a very long time. Of course, they have keto diets and stuff, but my diet, this particular diet is not keto because it's too high in protein and not enough fat. So you can't actually get into ketosis doing this type of diet. So that's the reason why today is so low and then tomorrow I'm gonna have carbs because my energy will start to drop each day I have very low to no carbs. And then the reason why I have high carbs is to get that energy back. So something that's been a big staple in my diet has been these flavored sparkling waters. These things are amazing because as you know, when you diet this hard, you're constantly hungry. So even after eating that omelet and stuff, I'm still hungry. So what this does helps crave that hunger. So I like to sip on this when I edit videos or edit photos when I do some work. Uh, so these things are amazing. So Brady just woke up from his nap. This is his routine. So we have the bathroom fan on and we also have this sound soother right here. And you turn it off and then here he is over here in his Baby. little nighty. <laughs> Hi cute boy. Take a good nap. And now for the test and see if he had a good nap. Did you have a good nap? If he <laughs> smiles then yes. Yeah, if he had a good nap, yes. Look how chunky he is. He is a dough boy. <laughs> dough boy. So before my next meal, I want to give you a little physique update. So I am two weeks out from my show, and this is not a huge show. This is just a local show that I'm requalifying for a national show later on in July, if I decide to do that. So that being said, I'm not super, super lean like I would need to be for a national show. Now, right now, I'm about 180 pounds. I've been stuck about 180 pounds for a long time, but 
I am getting leaner. And I think the reason why my weight has been sticking around 180 is because how much food I eat at night and how many vegetables I eat. Because I absolutely destroy a huge salad and tons of vegetables. So the volume is super high every single night. I think just one night of me not eating that, I think I would drop probably around four pounds in the morning weigh-in. So nothing to worry about as long as I'm looking better in the mirror and I'm losing Perfect. body fat. So yeah, that's what I'm looking like two weeks out from this local contest. I'm also gonna be planning a lot of photo shoots for mid-June and the end of July. So sometime around that national contest because I wanna get in as many photo shoots as I can while I'm in this kind of condition. So I got a package the other day and it's from my sponsor, Zevi, the clothing line. And they're coming out with new shirts and I love this style, so check it out. This is a quarter length sleeve shirt. So you can really just check out the gains on the arms. They fit amazing, they have a scoop bottom. This is probably my favorite color that they're coming out with. Of course they have uh, black, they have white, they have Merlot, uh, like this red color and this gray. So yeah, this is probably my favorite style that they came out with so far. Uh, if you want to check out any of Zevi's clothes, use code ABLE and you'll save 20%. So I get asked sometimes, why do I not calculate my green vegetables in with my calories and with my macros? And that is because they're so high in fiber and I just don't see the point in it because I'm already losing body fat without calculating them. I think that's just more of a hassle than it's worth. Now, if I was eating vegetables that was higher in uh, carbs, then I would calculate them. But for like broccoli, green beans, uh, lettuce and stuff, I just don't calculate them. Now I'm gonna sit here Enjoy this food while I get some work done. One hour later. So now it's gym time. I'm taking my pre-build by Muscle Tech. I'm gonna sip on it, head to the gym. Today is gonna be arms, and I'm actually excited about this workout. Uh, most of the time, I hate working arms, but because this is the fourth day of being very low on carbs, uh, I'm looking forward to it because it's not gonna take that much energy. So we're gonna go ahead, sip on the pre-workout and head to the gym. What's going on everyone? I know how much y'all love arm workouts because they're always one of the most popular videos I do. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this workout. Now this is a bicep, tricep, superset workout, but the first two exercises are not superset. So as you can see, I started off with an easy bar arm blaster curl. I was sitting down so it's only like half a rep and I went for 10 reps and then I would immediately stand up and do a full curl with the arm blaster and the easy bar with the exact same weight and try to squeeze out another 10 reps. I did uh, five sets of these, so a lot of sets on here, and then after doing the five sets of uh, the easy bar curls, went into easy bar decline bench uh, skull crushers. I did five sets of these, as heavy as I could go for around 10 to 12 reps. So like I said, these two exercises weren't superset, but after these two uh, kind of, I, I guess, compound movements, uh, the heavy movements, uh, the rest of the workout uh, is superset. So the very first superset I went into was an arm blaster again, uh, hammer curl. I did four sets of these 
uh, for around 10 to 12 reps alternating arms. So I'd go uh, one arm, then the other arm, and I'm kind of going out in front of me a little bit, as you can see there. So going to complete failure for those 10 to 12 reps uh, alternating and then when I would hit failure alternating I would curl both at the same time uh, as many as I could do it I think I only got like maybe two to three reps just to burn out those arms as much as possible and this is superset with seated overhead dumbbell extension and I did one arm at a time so I would go for around uh, 10 to 12 reps somewhere in there trying to get really good form on these uh, most of the time when I do dumbbell overhead extension it is with um, a single dumbbell but with both arms so I try to go you know really heavy with that but I wanted to change things up a little bit and do uh, just you know one dumbbell with one arm so of course you're not able to go with the same amount of weight uh, but you're able to kind of feel out uh, the muscle work a little bit better than doing both arms at the same time because when you're uh, using just one arm you can focus on that one arm and get that mind muscle connection just a little bit more than if you're using both arms with a single uh, dumbbell so after uh, that superset went into uh, one arm preacher curls on a machine four sets for around uh, 12 to 15 reps superset with one arm cable uh, push downs uh, for the exact same reps, those 12 to 15 reps, trying to focus on perfect form on both of these movements. Now, uh, this machine right here that I'm using is super heavy. Like, I don't know why this machine is so heavy. Like, I'm not able to go uh, with very heavy weight at all. Most of the time when I go to a gym, uh, the preacher curls are super light where I can, you know, add like the whole stack of weight. But for whatever reason, this machine is super heavy, uh, which means nothing. All you need to do is, you know, focus on the weight that you need to be using. So leave your ego outside the gym uh, with any workout. You know, you don't want to go in there and lift too heavy where you're not getting uh, good form out of each uh, exercise uh, because you're not going to be working that muscle like you should be. So I do one arm and then I go directly into the other arm and then go into uh, the cable uh, push down. So all I'm doing is grabbing that ball of the cable and using that. So I'm not using any kind of handle or anything. And as you can see, I'm going across my body just a little bit. So stretching up at the top, make sure I'm getting that full range of motion, then going down at the bottom and squeezing as hard as I can down at the bottom to make sure that I am you know, getting that mind-muscle connection and not just going through the reps really quickly. I'm trying to squeeze the whole entire time. And as you can see, that tricep is popping each time I go down, and that's what I want. So after that, went into rope overhead extensions. I did five sets of these for around 12 to 15 reps. And as you can see, I'm going back, stretching back, coming forward, trying to pause just for like a split second and then going back. And what I was trying to do is try to flare out that rope as much as possible. Uh, and then when I would hit failure, I would keep the rope together and then try to squeeze out a few more reps. And this was superset with single arm uh, standing uh, cable concentration curls for 15 reps on each arm. And then I finished off with another superset and it is blood flow restriction and if you do not know what blood flow restriction is just look it up super easy to do all you need is some bands and what I did was five sets of 15 reps on both these uh, exercises so uh, for triceps it was the rope uh, push downs that you're watching right now for 15 reps and then went into curls uh, with an easy bar with a cable and that is the end of the workout. I was resting for only around 45 seconds to one minute in between sets. Uh, so not very long rest because, you know, arms, you don't really have to rest that long because it's not a huge muscle group. But guys, if you want to try out this workout, it will be written down in the description box. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Just made it home from that workout. As you can see, Mr. Brady's back there. He's waiting on uh, solid foods. I'm about to feed him. So me and Shelby swapping up. I got home and she's about to go to the gym. 
and I'm gonna watch him for a little bit. So I'm gonna take my post-workout supplement, which is Hyperbuild by Muscle Tech. So this is my creatine. I like to take five grams post-workout. And I'm also gonna add five grams of the Muscle Tech glutamine for recovery. And then I'm gonna have a scoop of this Nitrotech ISO Whey. And then maybe about an hour to maybe an hour and 15, whenever Shelby gets back from the gym, we'll eat dinner. And of course, it's gonna be that huge John Mungo salad. The benefits of being a social influencer, I have this company that sent me out baby food for Mr. Brady. It's called Yummy. And they have a, <laughs> he's so excited, look at this. He is. <laughs> this kid is a chunk. He loves every type of food there is. Oh yeah, is that good? Is that good? So anyways, it's a company called Yummy and uh, they opened up a shop here in Austin and they wanted to send Brady uh, like weeks worth of food. So every week now we're gonna be getting a shipment and it's all like fresh, just real like vegetables and fruits and Brady loves them. They just keep them in the fridge just like that and you just feed it to him. <laughs> He is a good advertisement for food, believe me. This kid loves him some food. Brady is getting in his gains. That's the gains I do not want. I do not envy Brady's gains. <laughs> it's the fat gains. Say what? It's the off season gains. It's what daddy's gonna look like in a couple of months after he gets off this diet. Except daddy's diet is gonna be pizza and burgers and all kinds of desserts, M&Ms. Hey, you want some more? <coughs> Don't get mad. <coughs> Don't get mad, I know it's over, it's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone, <laughs> I'm sorry. He, he cries every time. The food is gone. That's what daddy feels like too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna set up the fire alarm in a second. <laughs> so for dinner, I'm having, oh my gosh. I told I you. black in that thing. That'll be good though. So for dinner, I'm having salmon with uh, a huge salad so we have olives, we have uh, red onions, and bacon, uh, turkey bacon, and then the huge bowl of salad, that's not even all of it. I'm gonna add more lettuce to that. And then I love broccoli and salads for some reason. I don't know why, I just started that maybe, I don't know, three weeks ago or something, but I love tons of broccoli in my salad. So I'm gonna mix all this up in this big bowl, and I'm also gonna add Greek yogurt ranch dressing to this and uh, feta cheese. And this is where I get most of my calories through the day is the last meal or one of the last meals. It's always my dinner. And then I have one more meal after this. Uh, so I'm gonna whip all this up real quick and eat some dinner because I am starving. My salad is ready to eat, uh, but I did forget the tomatoes. I need to run over there and get the uh, cherry tomatoes. Check it out. Looks amazing, look how big that salad is. So that is volume city right there. That is what you want when you're on a diet because you're always hungry. And that's the only thing that gets me full at night is a huge salad. The salmon we've been having basically every night for the past three nights. Salmon is so good in salad, I love it. And it's a good change up from like chicken and stuff because that's normally what we have is just like chicken breast. Uh, Shelby's gonna have chicken tonight because she's having something a little bit different. She's not having a salad. But now we're gonna sit here, enjoy this. We actually been watching Harry Potter. We finished up Harry Potter series last night, so now we gotta find something else to watch. I want to watch Lord of the Rings, but Shelby doesn't wanna watch that. She's not a big fan of Lord of the Rings. I absolutely love Lord of the Rings, so I'm trying to talk her into starting from the first one and then watching all of them, but I'm not sure if we're gonna do that or not. So now, on to the last meal. We sent Brady off to bed. And he goes to bed really early. He goes to bed around eight o'clock and he's been sleeping throughout the night, which has been amazing. He sleeps until about seven o'clock every single day. Uh, so yeah, our sleep has gotten way better. So like I said, onto the last meal. So I'm having cottage cheese. I have two servings in here. And then let me show you what I mix into the cottage cheese. This is my dessert. 
uh, that I've been having for weeks. This is my last vlog as well. So I have one scoop of protein powder and I just mix it in with the cottage cheese. The reason why I like having cottage cheese at night is because it's slow digesting protein just like casein is so that it stays in your system for a long period of time. So I have the protein powder in there. I mix that up, but first I like to add different ingredients like this pancake syrup. This stuff is Chemical City, Weldon Farms. So I'm just gonna add some uh, pancake syrup in there. And then I bought this the other day. This is by Weldon Farms as well. And this is the caramel syrup. And I'm gonna put some of that. And like I said, it's Chemical City because it's zero calories. And if you have anything that's zero calories, it's gotta be chemicals. And then what I have next is lilies, which I'm gonna weigh that out. So lilies is like a lower calorie uh, chocolate chip and they're sweetened by stevia. Uh, so each serving, which is 14 grams per serving, has only four and a half grams of fat and then nine carbs. It's a very macro friendly uh, chocolate chips. So I'm gonna add this in there. And there we go. So I just mix that up and then eat it uh, just as is. I don't add any other almond milk or anything because I like it really thick. Oh, and Shelby reminded me I need to add the peanut butter. So I'm gonna have a quarter of a serving of peanut butter and then uh, all the macros for the day is gonna be up on the screen right here. I'm not even sure exactly what I'm at right now. But like I said before, this is my diet. This is not something that y'all necessarily should do because I know it's very low calories. So yeah, I'm gonna mix the peanut butter in there and then I'm gonna enjoy this. So this is what it looks like when it's all mixed in together. It doesn't look that appetizing, but believe me, it is delicious. So I wanna to talk to you really quickly about some ideas that I have. So as you guys know, I might be doing the competition in July. Now I wanna do a series leading up to the competition for getting my pro card. So I need some ideas for the series. I was thinking maybe Road to Pro or Journey to Pro. If you have any idea of what the name could be for these series, comment down below because I'm very curious. And I think it would be a great uh, series to show you exactly what happens and how I'll get into that crazy condition. Because right now I'm lean, but for me to do a national show, it is on a different level. And Shelby's over there shaking her head because she does not want me uh, doing this contest because she knows how bad it gets Terrible. when I get that lean. Uh, it's Like I said, it's on a different level. You have to push your body to the limits, but I think a lot of y'all could learn a lot from this series. So like I said, if you have any ideas on the name, comment them down below. And then I'll pick the name for the series maybe in the next two vlogs, not tomorrow's video, but maybe the next video after that. But guys, I'm gonna end the video here. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right guys, peace. It's okay, it's okay.